Hey friends, it's Jessica and Grace and Elizabeth from Three Rivers Homestead and we're coming at you today from the girls room where Gracie has a little sewing station set up. Gracie wants to be a seamstress when she grows up and um, last week on Instagram she shared this beautiful braided rug that she had been working on and several people had asked that she share a tutorial. So that's what we're going to do for you today if that's something that interests you. But first I thought I'd talk to Gracie a little bit about her love of sewing and kind of how she got to this point. Um, so what are, what's the first thing, Grace, that you started sewing with? This is cross-stitching stuff that we bought from Walmart and some Sam's Club and all kinds of stuff. And it was a mermaid cross-stitching. I remember yeah. that. She, the first thing she ever did, it was just this tiny, it was just this big around. And it was a little cross-stitched mermaid. And it was a kit. It was like 99 cents from Walmart. And she cross-stitched that, and she just loved it. And it was really beautiful. What did you turn that into? What did it become? Uh, I turned it into a person, like, because I wanted, like, a person of me. Oh, yeah. So I see. used the face and all of that, but I turned it into a person. Right. So already, even the very first project she did, she didn't follow the instructions that it came with. She used the top half of the body, and then she took the mermaid bottom half and turned it into legs and I think that, that that was fun for you being creative and kind of doing what she wanted with the craft and then I believe I remember this this was her first little pillow she ever embroidered and she did this and sewed it and made a pillow and she just really got into cross stitching and making these little little projects and that was really fun from there, her needlework got so good that she started hand sewing things. What were some of the first things that you hand sewed? Uh, I think I did some like doll clothes, like I made a little skirt mm -hmm. and maybe a little bib. Yes, she did. I remember that. She made doll clothes. And once she demonstrated to us that this was a passion that was going to kind of stick around, we bought her her own sewing machine and I'll link the sewing machine down in the description below that was the perfect beginner sewing machine for her. She got it probably right before she turned seven maybe, I think. I got it for a Christmas present when I think I was six or seven. Yeah, I think it was right before she turned seven and she just took off and has been sewing ever since and so she really loves it and that's what she wants to do when she grows up is be a seamstress. What are some things that you would love to sew when you grow I up? I like to sew like a big wedding dress or like a big fancy hat. So like clothes and things? Yeah, so, that'd be really fun. If she could sew her own wedding dress one day, that would be really, <laughs> that'd be a lot it of... Wouldn't, it wouldn't be after you had to buy it and use a lot of money. Yeah, you could you'd definitely save some money and you could make it just exactly how you want it. So that would be fun. So anyways, as I mentioned, um, she had been working on this braided rug. Now a braided rug is something I've always wanted to make for myself but I've just never gotten around to do it and kind of never took the time to figure out how to do it myself. But I had bought Grace at the thrift store a couple years ago this old Reader's Digest book. I think it's from 1980. And in it, it has different instructions for all sorts of needlepoint, embroidery, different sewing projects. And she had found the instructions on her own to make this braided rug and came down with it like half done last week and I was like oh my goodness I can't believe you did that that's so beautiful I've always wanted to do that will you show me how you did it and um and so she just kept going so now today we're going to work on making a smaller version of one to use as a hot pad for uh pans and pots and things like that so why don't we get started and show you how to do it does that sound like fun yeah okay here we go the first thing Gracie did is she took three different types of fabric and she cut them into these strips uh, approximately maybe two inches by how long do you think that is maybe 18 inches and I don't think the length so much matters just the longer the strip is the longer your braid will be but she's going to continue to add braids as she runs out um, you could use the same fabric colors to make your braid. She has chosen to make her braid using three different fabrics, so it'll be kind of fun and, and funky looking. Okay. So the first thing Grace did is she took her cut strips of fabric here that, as we mentioned before, they were about 2 inches by maybe 18 inches. 
and she kind of folded it in on itself so that the inside of the fabric was hidden in this little tube and then she sewed across the top so that now she has three strips to braid together. Okay, go ahead. Now she's going to sew all three of those strips together into one. Okay, so then she took her three strips and she sewed them so that they're all together like this and easier for her to braid. And now just like you would braid your hair or braid garlic like we've shown before, whatever you're braiding, she's just doing it with these three strips of fabric. As she's braiding it, she's sort of trying to make sure that any rough edges of fabric are kind of hidden into the braid. gotten to the end of her braid. What do you do next, sis? First, so you sew it over so these don't come undone. So she's just going to take that end and sew across. To hold that braid in place so that it doesn't come undone. So what she's got are these ends left and that's where she'll attach her new fabric as she continues to add more to the length of her braid. Okay so what Gracie's going to do now is she's going to take her little braid and she's going to turn it to make her circle shape. So go ahead and start turning it honey. And then she's going to zigzag stitch right along here where the two sides of the braids come together. And she's just going to continue to turn it and zigzag stitch with her machine all along and then when she gets to here she'll stop and then she's going to add more fabric so she can continue her braid. So it's just a nice circle. You could hand sew this together if you wanted to but a zigzag stitch on your machine works really well. So this right here is the stitch that she is using to go ahead and do this. So we have the beginnings of our rug or our hot pad here, just kind of twirled in a little spiral around, and now she's going to add to it. So now Gracie's going to do the same thing that she did before and kind of fold her new fabric strips in, and then she's going to sew them to where she left off on the rug.
we're all done. We have a handy little trivet or hot pad to put a hot um, pot or pan on for cooking. What do you think of it? I think it's good. So if you just continued to keep braiding and going around and around and getting it bigger, what could you turn it into? A play mat or a rug. A play mat or a rug? So that could be really cool. And just simple. It took her maybe 45 minutes to make this, and she's got a little gift. These make a great gift this time of year to give to grandparents or aunts and uncles and friends. It's really cool, sis. You did a good job. All right. So I'm really proud of my Gracie and her hot pad that she made. If you have a child that's really interested in sewing and you want to know how to get them started, I'm going to list some resources in the description that Gracie found really helpful, some books and things that that she used to kind of read about sewing and to get ideas for simple projects. And what I would encourage you to do is to buy some simple cross-stitch projects to get your child used to using a needle and thread or embroidery. Let them practice just using that needle and thread through the fabric. Do some hand sewing projects and then start them on the sewing machine with your guidance. Teach them how to use the bobbin, right? Isn't that how we started? How to thread the bobbin and, and use the machine and then you can just let them loose on it and let them explore and that's really when Gracie began growing in her sewing skills is when I just let her use the sewing machine on her own, get some really cheap fabric scraps, check out the fabric section at the at the fabric store, the scrap section, and just let the child loose let them experiment and do whatever they want, and they will amaze you in the really creative things that they come up with. So if you have any questions for Gracie, leave them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to answer them. But for that, we're going to say bye now. Bye. We hope you're having a blessed day. Bye.